So now some clarification about the beat designer. A couple of extra things that you could do with this. I've got a beat programmed. I'm going to show you the variations that I have. This is the first pattern. The second one. And then the third one. This is triggering the Groove Agent one. The kit is just the Tribal House kit. And the audio I've got on separate outputs running through a group channel track called Beats together. And I've got a compressor on here and it's just binding them together slightly. So that's what's happening there. The whole point in this video is to show you a number of the different ways that you can deal with the programming data. You know, a question that's come up a lot is, well, how can we get this into the sequence of track? The quickest and simplest way is to literally pick up from the piano key and then drag to the destination. So if I double click on here, you can see the programming has been added there. If we come back to the beat designer, we could take the second pattern and bring it through here. And then the same with the third pattern over there. Now, one of the important things to do is if you're actually copying the pattern data here, you want to turn off the beat designer. So just switch the power off and then we can have a listen here and see how that flows. So that's one of the methods, just simply dragging and dropping. Let me just take these away. There is another way you can work with this and you can actually do this via MIDI keys. So if I click jump, now what happens is if I've got my MIDI keyboard set up, I can switch by pushing MIDI keys. Can you see that? I haven't got the mouse on this. So we can record that as a performance. So if we get this set up, let's just put the click on. So I've got reference point I'm gonna push record and we're basically going to get this running and it's going to record those notes and it's going to play back the actual notes and switch the patterns for us. So this is more of a kind of live vibe. Have a look. There's the first pattern. I'm going to push the second key just before the end of the fourth bar. Switched and then just before the sixth for the next one. So we've got literally MIDI notes signifying the actual pattern that's going to play. So of course this hasn't copied the MIDI data. It's just literally telling it when to play the next pattern. So if once you've done that, that you actually want this to be the actual MIDI note data, then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to merge that down. So if we go to MIDI and if we come down to merge MIDI in loop, include inserts, we're going to click OK. You can see now that that data has been brought through. And what we would need to do is to delete the original and then bring this back and then turn off the beat designer and you've got that progression recorded and kept.